It's a new year, and we're starting off the new year with a new virus, the coronavirus. The coronavirus was first detected in Wuhan, China, one of China's central cities. Sources from Wuhan state that the early patients had some connection with the seafood and animal market, suggesting that the virus was passed on from an animal to human. However, a growing number of patients who had no exposure to animal markets indicates that the virus has manifested and is spreading from human to human. Symptoms of the virus include fever, shortness of breath, coughing, runny nose, a sore throat, and a headache. Symptoms will start to appear within 2 to 14 days after you've been exposed to the virus. Some of you think that coronavirus was discovered a month ago, but they've actually been around since 1960. There are actually seven types of coronaviruses. The common human coronaviruses are 229E alpha coronavirus, NL63 alpha coronavirus, OC43 beta coronavirus, and HKU1 beta coronavirus. The severe coronaviruses are MERS CoV beta coronavirus or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, SARS CoV beta coronavirus or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, and the 2019 novel coronavirus. The World Health Organization 12th Situation Report on February 1, 2020 reported that there are in total 11,953 cases reported worldwide. But most of the cases are in China, with a total of 11,821 cases. There have been cases confirmed in Japan, the Republic of Korea, Vietnam, Singapore, Australia, Malaysia, Cambodia, the Philippines, Thailand, Nepal, Sri Lanka, India, the United States, Canada, France, Finland, Germany, Italy, the Russian Federation, Spain, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United Arab Emirates. Let's talk about the reaction. The CDC and the World Health Organization are working together to respond to the new public health threat. On January 7th, the CDC established a 2019 novel coronavirus incident management structure. And on January 27th, the CDC created a new travel guidance for China that warns travelers to avoid all non-essential travel to the country. Four days later, the President of the United States signed a presidential proclamation on suspension of entry as immigrants and non-immigrants of persons who pose a risk of transmitting the coronavirus. In addition to this, the CDC and Border Protection are conducting enhanced entry-level screening of passengers who have been in Wuhan within the past 14 days at five U.S. airports. It is also possible to travel to Wuhan, China, and going forward, CBP officials will monitor travelers for symptoms of the coronavirus. What would happen if they suspect that you showed symptoms of the coronavirus? They would first refer you to the CDC for evaluation at one of the 20 U.S. quarantine stations. There, they will keep you in a negative pressure room to keep the virus from escaping. They will then send a sample to the CDC headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia for further testing. The test will take 24 to 48 hours to complete. If the test confirms that you indeed have the virus, then they will offer you supportive care, which means they will do everything they can to help your body fight the virus until it's completely gone. There's currently no cure or vaccine for the virus. There have been a total of 305 confirmed deaths. Those who have died tend to have underlying conditions, like cancer or heart disease, that have weakened their immune systems to fight the virus. At the time of writing this script, that's all the information we have. The script was written on February 1, 2020. Who knows what more information about the virus we will have in the future. During the peak of the hype of the coronavirus, there's been a lot of headlines and misinformation made by the media that are trying to get you to panic, to get you to click on their article, and when you click on the article, they earn money. We recommend you find reputable sources like the CDC and the World Health Organization. If you want to learn more about the virus, we suggest you take a look at our source links. If you have a new suggestion for a new topic for an episode, leave your suggestion in the comments section below. We upload a new episode every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Thank you all for watching, and we hope you have a wonderful day.